Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we're using the great Divi Supreme Modules plugin again today and we're using the Supreme Card module. It's got a picture there, some shoes and some info, title, subtitle, buy it now button or call to action button or whatever you like. And it's also got a little little tag up there. Now this is great. I'm advertising a product with it here. If you click on the button, it'll go to the product. And there we are. Of course, it can be used for many other things. But that's really striking and really easy to do with the Supreme Modules plugin. So let's get it done. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm just going to add a new module. I've got a section with a row with two columns. And I'm going to add a new module in the next column. Divi comes as standard, the Divi theme with all these light grey modules here. The dark blue purpley modules are all the ones you get with Supreme Modules add-on. And I think there's about 40 of them. So today I'm going to use the Supreme card and they're a really great addition to the Divi theme. There we go, Supreme card. If I move this out of the way. By default you can see it adds a generic image, a little badge, a heading and a bit of information and a button. Um, and if we go over to design you can uh, lay out an alignment wise you don't have to have them on top of each other like a blurb module or a CTA you can have them in line if you want which is another great little option today I'm going to keep mine stacked though let's go back to the content whatever whatever it is you want in for your title you can have a subtitle And of course you can edit the content and put in what you want, more media if you want, images and stuff in there. I'm going to leave mine just like that because I really don't have anything to say. Let's add an image and I guess again we'll link this to a product because it's very easy to do. I've got products on this site. I'll put that one in there. And you can choose how you want the image displayed. You can use it as an actual, actual background if you want to, which is what we're doing at the moment. I want to increase that height so we can say, see a little bit more of that image. So I'm just going to slide the slider up till I'm happy with it. That looks great. Now the background image size, fine. I want it covering. You can make it fit or you can have it actual size, but cover is great for me at the moment. Don't want it to repeat. And I think, as with the other one, when people hover over it, I'd like it to zoom in. So for the background image animation right here, left click on it, hit zoom in. Now it sort of zooms in. I like that effect. There's zoom out, zoom and rotate, zoom out and rotate. Um, just demonstrate. I'll get that one. So it sort of leaves the image in there like that. And when you click on it, you get a sort of horizontal image. That's quite a nice effect, actually. But for me, I'm just going to leave it on the zoom in. Now the link. Here's the badge up here. We can make that link to one place and the button link to somewhere else and the module link to somewhere else. But I want everything linking to the same thing, which is these bags here. So I've got my store open. There are my bags. Just right click and copy the link address. And I'm going to make my badge go to those bags. I'm going to get the module go to the bag. So anywhere around here also, when they click on it, it'll go there. And for the button also, I'm going to have it go to the bags. And let's say buy now. Or whatever is appropriate for your button. I'll just roll up a bit. As you can see, it says buy now. That's great. We're pretty much there. Let's just sort of style this the way we want it. Let's go over to our design tab. Lay out an 
and alignment we discussed that earlier where you can have it left and right or up and down so I'm happy with that use equal column height well we'll do that that way if you've got different amounts of stuff in there it should make all the columns the same height we can do that with our row as well to make these two exactly the same now the image I really don't want to do anything to that I don't want to have an overlay that would be a color because if we do it'll sort of distract distract from the zoom there I don't think I want to give it a border or a particular width or any box shadow now the badge itself let's just make this our own I'm going to go in there background color I'm going to make that purple and the text I'm going to make white and of course the badge text itself if we go back to content I skipped over that one badge text it's just below the animation so we'll go back here back to our badge that's great I'm gonna leave that just like that you can change the padding as to where it is or you can use custom positioning and move it just with these but I'm, I'm gonna leave it just where it is that works fine for me I'll just add a bit of text shadow to that and a bit of box shadow to the whole little badge itself okay move on down text and title text you can change individually let's make the title text purple there we go and yeah, capitalize it as well why not everything else there I'll leave the same and let's just style up our button a little bit so if we go down to the button let's have it perhaps on the right hand side you can have it in the middle if you want to I want to use custom styles because I'll make it purple just like the other button button text color I'm gonna have that white so it's gonna disappear into the white background button background let's make that purple let's have it red on hover so if we go to button background here go to the little arrow go over to hover and we'll select red when it hovers that's great go back to desktop version and what else do we do I don't want an icon on it I don't want that little arrow there so I'm going to turn that off I'm going to make it uppercase give it a bit of text shadow give it a bit of box shadow there we go and it looks like I've got to take that white border away so if we roll back up here just under the color got border width if I take that down to zero that will get rid of that fantastic okay well, only other thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of box shadow on the whole thing to just define it so we'll go down a box shadow at the bottom here and I'm going to make the transition time for the button change of color to about a second which is pretty slow but the sort of thing I like there so we'll say transition from 300 mils up to about 900 mils or a thousand mils which is one second ease in ease out which will sort of ease it in then slow it in and then do the opposite on the way out let's save that let's go into our row go to design and sizing equalize columns there we go that'll make those two columns exactly the same there let's save what we got and exit the visual builder let's go down to where we were and there we are that's a nice little effect right there a nice little thing let's make sure it's going to take us to our product and there we go and that little button's taking about a second to change colors there which sort of gives it a few transitions in between the red and the purple So there you have it. There's the new Divi Supreme's card module. Nice little addition to your site. Really useful little thing to have. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.